Hi, I wanted to quickly share what I did for Keshav and Alicia's birthday celebration in their preschool. I got 8x10 canvases like these and then I put masking tape randomly over the canvases. Just absolutely random. And then I prepared 20 of these for the 20 students in their classroom. And, and I took some uh, sheets of paper and those disposable uh, tablecloths uh, to cover the tables so kids don't drop paint. I took these uh, Craft Smart tempera paint and, um, and, a, and, a, and Craft Smart washable paint. So I took six colors and then I took uh, some paper plates to uh, pour the colors on and uh, I mean, almost every kid had a plate or they shared amongst each other. And I took some sponges because we were, uh, because that was a class of uh, two to three year olds. Mama, Mama, what are I talking about? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm talking about the, your birthday celebration in school. What did we do? What? We celebrate Hi, your birthday why you like like that? <laughs> And then I took these uh, sponges cut into wedges. So while I took all these Craft Smart Tempera and washable paints, I also took these uh, Crayola metallic colors because I really wanted to try these. Kids have uh, uh, painted with those uh, regular Crayola paints uh, since they were two years old, but metallic was something different and I thought it would shine very well on a canvas. But with 20 students in class, it was getting a little difficult to manage and add more colors because uh, they were because because they were already already mixing all these six colors and creating a brown color out of it. So I skipped these, but I just carried these. In. I'm letting you know in case you want to uh, try some metallic colors in your paints and probably use two or three colors for an activity with kids. I think two colors like red or pink or just blue and purple, something in the same uh, color family would be nice. So that they don't end up mixing colors and um, or, or blue and yellow and creating green out of it. That would be nice too. But <laughs> but now six colors like I took because then that would that ended up turning brown when they mixed everything on the plate. However, uh, what the kids did was uh, each kid got a canvas like this, and I just wrote a, a short, quick note just before I was leaving home. It's uh, it says uh, thank you for celebrating with us. Uh, love Alicia Keisha. But what the kids did was dip their wedge into paint and dab on the canvas. So I kind of tried to make it fun like um, dip, dip, dip and dab, dab, dab. And that's how I made the kids paint on the canvas. And, and we did this on Friday where we left the canvases in school because it was still wet and it was already time for kids to leave. And that's the concept of the masking tape. After you paint all the, you know, all the different hey, colors Casey. in there, you peel the masking tape out of all the places and then you get a design in the end. During pickup time today, which is Monday, when the kids uh, ran to their mom saying, Mama, my painting! Oh my God, that was so sweet when I saw the kids do that. Um, uh, come here, show me your painting. Come here. So this is what Keshav did. Come here and show your painting. So this is what Keshav ended up doing. Um, because because of the mixture of colors, there were some very nice blends. Something that had like a marble effect. And, and, and I realized that because me, this, and I, I think this blended in in the canvas because I probably did not press the tape well when I was uh, sticking it to the canvas. That may be the reason why the paint bled onto the canvas. But Alicia's one is pretty neat. Alicia, show me yours. Come stand here. Come stand here and show me your painting. Oh, yours is the favorite color. Purple color. That's why her painting is purple from everywhere. This is not my matching. That's not matching, I know. But uh, hold your paint. Uh, hold your canvas. No, no, not the paint, sorry. Hold your canvas. And put the paint down. Hold the canvas with both your hands and, and show your painting. You're so proud of your painting. Uh, let's go a little closer. I'm a pain. Mama, not pain. And so that's how the masking tape makes this design. And um, there are different things you could do. For example, you could put a foam heart shape in the center and then have the kids paint all over, then take the foam heart out, and that would be maybe something appropriate for Valentine's Day. Or you could, uh, with the masking tape, you could write L O V E. And then paint, and then you know you would have love or peace or um or or how about your your kids' initials, you know? 
but I, I went along with something like this because with 20 kids in the class, I didn't I wouldn't have to you know find out what whose name is what and then distribute the, the initials accordingly. So this is something great for a big crowd if you have like an art class or if you're doing this for adults, you could use those acrylic paints or oil paints or anything else that goes on canvas because we were working with kids. I had those washable paints that come off with soap and water easily out of their clothes because it does get messy. Kids ages 2 to 3 just don't listen and follow instructions as much as an older kid would. And if you want to preserve these paints, you can put a layer of Mod Podge on it. I haven't yet. And I hope you like this idea. It is fun. Even when the kids are painting it and especially when you see the end result. Thank you, thank you for watching and bye! Thank bye, you for bye, 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 bye!